You remember that awful pod level in Earthworm Jim, where you gotta fling yourself throughout an underwater course of jagged rocks just so you can get back to something that resembles a platformer? Considered by many to be one of the banes of the 16-bit era, personally responsible for the destruction of three of my favorite controllers, yeah, you know the level I'm talking about, Bob Came in Pieces is almost like that except for two things. One, there isn't really damage to take, so feel free to smack into anything and everything. Heck, in many places, that's the only way to progress. Two, it's actually quite fun because, well, take a look at your customization options. Yep, all of those fiddly bits let you build, rebuild, and re-rebuild your pod craft to whatever specifications you need. You need a pointy bit up top to poke a boulder out of the way? Build it. You need a stronger thruster in one direction to clear through a gate? Move it around. Your entire design is modular, and every interactive bit is hotkeyed as you lay them down, giving you complete and total dominion over both controls and functionality. I see Bob was just trying to get to his call center gig one day, he played in and of itself, I speak from experience, when a stray asteroid wrecked his ship, scattering debris all over 13 stages of thruster-busting puzzles. Bob's tasked with getting from portal to portal to try to find his way home, all while picking up the bits of his craft would have broken off and using them to solve the next puzzle in line. A game like this lives and dies by its physics engine, and while it does do a fairly decent job of capturing all the ramifications of your designs, there's still some rather strange interactions that'll take basic trial and error and ever laughable error. The flight of your ship itself is largely dependent on its overall weight, its balance of weight, the strength of its thrusters, and if there are any other dangly bits either attached or being pulled by way of tractor beam. It's a heck of a lot for a computer to calculate, and even more for a jerk like myself just trying to get to the portal in peace. Oftentimes, you'll get to the solution through something completely accidental and not at all pretty. That's called outside the box thinking. The music in Bob Came in Pieces tends to stick to the smoother, more ambient side of the street, and while the courses themselves are fairly basic in graphical presentation, you'll soon be seeing them more in terms of their interactions than the graphics themselves. Hit this thing to make it swing, and fall onto this platform on a spring, hoping to lock the two pieces together and clear the path. Might not be rocket science, but it certainly makes for a fun game, for the course of the main story and the handful of bonus missions offered. It's just cerebral enough to be a good puzzle game, and just action-intensive to make a good, um, rocket action thing? Well, let's face it, you'll be spending most of your time micromanaging your designs to ensure adequate flight stability while dragging around a minecart, then throwing that all out the window in favor of just building whatever the hell works. It's engineering in action, just with less coffee.